How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to show you how to make mashed potatoes from a bag of potato chips. Now most of the time it's going to turn out quite disgusting because a potato chip is heavily seasoned and there's a lot of fat in it. I want to make a mashed potato that is actually enjoyable and delicious. So let's go to the supermarket and shop for a bag of potato chips. I'm back over here and I've selected these baked lays. Cut open the top. This is so that you can put water in. Smells like potato chips. Fold it two times like this. Just cut it in about two, three centimeters. Good, we're good. Like that. So you see what I did here is I just made a strainer out of this corner of the bag. Inside I got my potato chips over here. And try one. Okay. trying to rinse out all the salt that's in here so that my resulting mashed potato won't be overly salty. I need one more hole at the bottom. I'm going to cut more holes over here. That should do it. Look at that. Looks like some mashed potatoes already. Into a bowl. Let me do a little taste test. A little bit crunchy right now, but sort of getting there. Still tastes a little bit like potato chips. It's like a cross between them. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of butter. And then you can add a cup of milk over here, but I have almond milk over here. I'm going to add half of this. That's about good. And then now we just microwave this. Two minutes to do. Let me show you. Okay. Looks weird right now, but I think if I sort of mix this up, looks like it could use a little bit more water content. Another eighth of a cup, so first, yep, needs for water. Smells pretty good actually, but you might actually crave to eat this in the future because it has this baked flavor I can smell uh, that's coming from this thing whenever you're adding water because once you add it, you can't subtract. Let me give this a try, a taste test first. Too thick, but then there's this additional taste to it. Baked glaze flavor? I gotta look at what's in the bag. Dry potatoes, cornstarch, corn oil, sugar, sea salt, soy lechithin, dextrose, and annatto extract. That's what it is, annatto extract. It's probably what gives us this slight uh, sort of orangey color to it and also the slight weird flavor. Needs more water. The saltiness is just fine because I rinsed it out. Um, I don't need any more salt here than this. If you like it more salty, sure, you can add back in more salt. Let me add yet another quarter cup of water to this and then mix it up. Okay, I ended up adding one whole cup of water into this. It soaks up water like crazy. And then because the water was all at room temperature, I microwaved it another 60 seconds. So let me show you the consistency of this thing. It looks like mashed potatoes, except the color is a little bit orangey from the annatto in the potato chips. And give this another taste test with the change in consistency. The almond milk gives it that creamy flavor, so it is creamy. Overall, I think the novelty factor of this is pretty cool because if you can bring a bag of potato chips to a party and somehow end up with some edible mashed potatoes that actually taste pretty palatable, then you have something here and it is something, you know, kind of neat to try. Now, if you don't want this annatto flavor, you might want to try another bag of chips that I was considering. I was considering the Pop Chips original flavor because that one, um, it might not have the annatto flavor. It might turn out a little bit better. So let me plate this thing and then show you what it looks like. One scoop of mashed potatoes, a little bit of parsley flakes on top, a little bit of black pepper, and it's ready to eat. 
Now this is actually palatable and I'm going to save this and I'm actually going to eat all of it. Might be a little bit better with gravy, I think. Once in a while, I can taste a little bit of a chip that's inside there. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a like on this video. Push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.